22-year-old Jordan Tatlow is grandson of landowner Ken, but this is his first season mining. We're trying to move all this dirt out of here. There's a ton of dirt about, oh, just a second, about to hit someone. So there's only a couple of us down here. Parker wants this thing sluicing, so a lot of dirt to move and not a lot of time to move it. could be out of the military, but you can't take the military out of the guy. And if you're going to do a job, you're going to do it to the best of your capabilities. Jordan, I got 100 loads to hit. Come on. So we're at 75 loads. I need 25 more loads out of you today. Okay. It's a half mile round trip to the waste site. They have to do a trip every seven minutes non stop throughout their 12 hour shift. Most people my age and my friends are just out having fun drinking and partying, not thousands of kilometers away from their friends and family working up in the Yukon. You know, working three weeks straight, seven days a week, 12 hours a day, and no days off. You have to realize when those kids came here, the biggest thing they probably ever drove was a Honda Civic. And now they're sitting in a truck who's got more horsepower than a NASCAR, and they have to know what they're doing. Well, Evan is doing great. Jordan, well, he could be doing better. Coolant level low. This container where the coolant sits is different from the other ones, so I'm going to just spill it all over the place. Unfamiliar with the truck, Jordan pulls plant boss Tyson Lee off his job running pay. No worries. Start it up. All right, thank you. Just a show, honestly, right now. Frogs always want to get a hundred loads or more. I've been keeping up. Jordan's uh, falling behind. Okay, what's going on in there? Wake up. Come on. Sorry, boss. I'm getting hot in here. I'm a bit tired. Come on. You got to be a little more on the ball. Well, I know that we're on Ken's grounds, and Jordan is his grandson, but he's gonna have to learn to run like everybody else. I don't care about his feelings. Bottom line is, you know, Parker put me in charge, so we're gonna find out what the problem is, and we're gonna deal with it, because the other alternative is he's out the door. So somebody's gonna have to talk to somebody. I'm concerned about your production. We're only doing like 70 loads a day. First couple days were stressful. Yeah, uh, because you've never been around. It's all new crew to you and everything is new. Yeah. So it's a little harder. I know the hours are long. It's hard work. But once you really come around and get onto it, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. I'll try to be more focused and 
try to maintain it for a whole 12 hours. Hopefully, I'll get there. Froggy wants me hitting 100 loads a day, and I think right now we're hitting just above 70, so I've got to pick up a lot of slack here, and it's not that easy. At the promised land, Parker's crew is racing to get down to pay dirt by the end of the week. But operator Froggy is struggling with rookie truck drivers. I talked to my grandpa, and he really motivated me. He gave me a good pep talk, and I think it worked. Kind of turning a new corner here and starting a new chapter, I think. My grandpa has been up in the Yukon for around 60 years. Everybody up here knows my family and knows the last name. So I really don't want to be the one to it up and tarnish the family name at all. Yeah, so far everyone's really impressed with Jordan's progress. Yeah, after that, we talked with Ken. He's been really motivated. Hey, Evan, what's your load count at right now? Yeah, you're starting to catch up. Slowly but surely. Coming down, you can get up to 40, but then take your foot off the accelerator. Going down the hill, you can get up to 50. Oh, uh, yeah, Jordan's starting to catch up. He's going a little bit faster now. Because right as I leave, he'll be right behind me with a full box. I'm at 98 loads right now. We've still got a couple hours left, so today will be the first time I hit triple digits. Oh my, what the f was that? That did not sound good. Yeah, Jordan, you need to pull over right now. Hey, Tyson, you got a copy? Go to the yard and see what the mechanics have to say. You can hear banging around as it drives by. That's horrible. Where's your drive shaft? Right there. Truck just started falling apart, literally. The rear drive shaft has cracked. Replacing it will take at least a week. There's only one spare truck left, but it's being serviced. OK, so he's going to get this one up and running for me, and I can take this one out. And hopefully it works. So we should be back up in an hour or so. But for now, I'm just sit around and wait, I guess. Yeah, she's good to go. I'll get my ass back to work. Evan, I'm at 100 loads now. I think I passed you. Yeah, Jordan, I'm at 99. Finally beat Evan to 100 loads. I'm stoked about it. His load count will help us make our goal. Ken, I just want to let you know that your grandson hit 100. 100. He's uh, showing me that he's got what it takes to get the work done, and they're doing it. The whole team pulled it together. And in seven days, we got down the pay, so that's fantastic. Now I got to run my butt to the office and tell Parker the good news. There's going to be quite a bit of pressure here when Parker comes down to Penn. I know that he wants to get some revenue out of here, too. For a backup for Mud Mountain, for sure. I'm really happy with the way it looks. Like, I can't imagine that a sluicing crew is going to have a problem with any of this. Ken is definitely like the coolest landlord of all time. Landowners that understand the process, and when we need help, they come help us out. It doesn't get much better than that. Get the boat. 
That's the best hand I've seen for a hell of a long time. Yeah. That's good. That's damn good. <laughs>